Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be playing the game Meet Your Maker. And today we're in the workshop. And I'm going to be doing a uh, walkthrough of what I call the lava floor. And I'm just going to show you what the layout is here. This is the normal workshop area if you've been following my videos. Harvey would go in this location. Now this setup can be made anywhere within your sinister layer. That's up to you and where you want to place this thing. I placed it at the beginning here so I could show it to you. So the bird's eye view of it is here. I call it, you know, it's lava floor. And what's great about it is the, uh, oh, I missed a cube right there. The uh, um, raider has to go down this narrow, this narrow path to, to uh, get through the room, right? And what you would do on the roof, you would you would go up one more layer, you'd put a roof on the thing and put a few of these cubes on the roof. Just a few, you don't need a lot, just enough so they don't try grappling through the thing. So you only would go up one more, you'd only go up one more block here. Let me just get a block so, so I'm explaining this to you correctly. And if this was the roof, okay. Um, that would be the roof. Maybe maybe put a... Uh, no, I would actually... You'd have to go up one more for this to... And we'll do this. You'd have to go up one more. I mean, you don't want to make it too stupid, right? I'll go up one more. And then maybe put a, a block here, a, a cube um, here. A corrosive cube here. All right, so you do something like that. You make it so that they you don't want them to grapple you know what i mean you don't want them to grapple up or you know they can grapple to the walls which is fine but just do a roof system like i just did there a two tier high obviously it's two two uh, blocks high occasionally put the cube in i mean i think that would be too overkill so maybe do another one you you get the gist of it you want to try to keep them down on the pathing that's where you want to keep them, to force them to either speed run this or try to systematically go through this. Now, I didn't lay, and I'm going to just delete this, what I just did here, so the, so we can see. I didn't lay any traps in here yet. And you can use your imagination of what kind of traps you might want to put on these angular walls. They could be bolt shots. They could be incinerators. Uh, you either could, uh, you could put maybe some sentinels or, or sentinel here in this corner. And a nice sentinel might be able to go in this corner. Uh, maybe one down here. Uh, I don't think that would have line of sight. Maybe one right there. Yeah, that wouldn't have line of sight. Yeah, one down there wouldn't have line of sight. Or, you know, you could do whatever you want with this room. The thing about this room is what you want to do is you want to put adjacent to it a bomb ejector. Now, I only could go so far in this direction because my burial ground, uh, my testing ground ends here. So I couldn't go up higher. But in sense, what you want to do is you want to use the bomb ejectors at the top of this hallway. Because that, because the only way for them to get away from them, and it would, and what I would, what I would want to do is try to do this at an angle somehow. What I've got here is fine, but another one here and I just can't do it because of the limitations of my barrel ground, is at an angle so it shoots down. See the, how I'm looking down here? Similar to where you've seen my uh, slow them down video, what I did with the incinerators, just have the uh, bomb ejector uh, actually facing down, and maybe you'd put a piston in to, to block people shooting it. But the thing about it is, and you can do anything you want with the hill part of it, you get the bomb ejectors in there, and they got nowhere to go. Because that forces them to run back into this room. And you hope by the, forcing them into this room, they're going to end up in your pit. So you're getting them, you put some traps in the walls, you get them in this room. Uh, you can pick whatever traps you want for the walls. They get up here and and then they get a, They have to deal with a bomb e ejector who, you know, and with the, with the bouncing bennies falling down this hallway. Now you want this this uh, hallway probably to be five to seven lengths long so it would be way up here is where you'd end it and again i can't do that because of the limitations of my my workshop here but you have it really high and then you put a few bomb ejectors throughout the thing so it forces them to run back down into the room and you're gonna hopefully get them in 
you know, you're not going to get everyone with this gag, but I think it's just fun, like Indiana Jones style with a with a big ball coming down the hill at Indiana Jones. That's what I'm talking about here, Indiana Jones style, is they go down, they come up, and they get the, they they got, cause the uh, bouncing Betty or the bomb ejector to, to spew out, and then they got to run back down to get out of its death drop. All right, well, this is it, really. This is the... I mean, you can do anything you want with the room on, on what you do with these walls. You could you could put incinerators in. Uh, you know, you could put incinerators in here to, to make it harder. I mean, yes, it's what we what one people would call somewhat of a kill box, but it's a cool design. And um, I'm going to talk about the kill box thing um, real quick in this video and I don't want to go off too much on a uh, on a tenant but I, I want to explain to folks who have been uh, comment bombing me on on YouTube that I'm killing the game for people because I make my bases too hard now I get that but you need to get that I have a um, brain injury and I can't control my left hand correctly so rating for me is out. I can't do it. Even the simplest uh, rating bases, I can't do. So I am forced to make uh, bases that I need my kill ratio to be over nine to keep them running. And that's just the gist of it. So I had some person tear me apart saying I'm destroying the community, forcing people to leave the game because I'm teaching people to make two cruel bases and that I should be making my, my bases at three kill ratio. Well, at three kill ratio, I can't play the game. I can't up my bases at that. And, it, and the only option I've got is the raid. And I just explained to you my disability that I can't do it for this game. Now, in beta, that wasn't the case. When I played this game in beta, I could be a core builder and never have to raid and I could keep my bases up. Right now, I have no bases up. I have not enough raiders to keep them going. So I have zero uh, uh, stuff coming into my, uh, my currency because none of my bases are activated right now. And uh, one uh, gentleman last night um, was really complaining that I am destroying the community and destroying the game because I'm showing people how to do this. And the way I look at it is uh, I'm doing it because the, the developers have developed the game this way. If they had come out, or, you know, they've not been very communicative with the community. They haven't been telling people what their ultimate goals were. In beta, I could make easy... Uh, easy bases and still keep them going. When they release the game, something changed where you're not getting enough, uh, enough currency to run them and you have to have a minimum of a kill ratio nine. And this person that was uh, ranting on me last night was like, Tarkus, I have kill ratio three. Get off your lazy ass and go raid some buildings because this is ridiculous that you've got 16 kill ratio bases. You're causing people to quit the game. Well, you know, honestly, I think I'd be leaving the game shortly too because I mean, I maybe I'm the problem here because I can't, I can't run, I can't update my bases without getting a nine kill ratio, and currently none of my bases are activated because I just don't have the raiders coming into them, you know, and that's just the reality of it. I mean, I mean, they didn't design the game for somebody with my kind of handicap because I need my left hand to do the rating and my in the communication between. Um, my brain in my left hand is not the way it used to be. Now, before the motorcycle accident, I could definitely uh, play this game and not have a problem rating it. But I, I just can't do it right now based on, on my limitations, my, my personal health limitations. So for that person that's screaming at me, Tarkus, go raid and don't be an asshole. Earn your money another way. Don't earn your money by killing a crap load of people. Earn your money by, like everyone else does, you have to raid the game. Well, again, I was not notified of that during beta because during beta play, everything went smooth. I could do easy bases. I could keep my kill ratios at five or six, and I could comfortably play the game and keep my bases running. I even said that in numerous videos during beta. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can tone this base down because I... I uh, I'm getting enough rewards and then release came and I'm getting like one tenth the rewards I used to get and I did the numbers and you need to kill at least not you have to have a nine kill ratio just to stay above water 
So if I'm destroying the game, I'm sorry. That's I mean, I'm just trying. I paid for the game just like everyone else. I'm trying to work the game around my health limitations. And if people feel that my tutorials in in my um, and my videos are destroying the community, well, you know, I guess uh, this is not the game for me. I guess that's really what I want to say uh, at this point. But I will continue to do these workshop videos. You obviously are not going to see any of my um, newer stuff. Let's just uh, just go uh, out of the base here so I can confirm to you what's going on. You're not going to see any newer stuff from me other than the workshop where I show you what I'm thinking in the workshop because currently, oh, currently right now, I'm at the wrong place. Currently right now, I am not, um, I don't have anything active. I have nothing active. I can't afford it. I'm only at 726 tokens. I'm not going to go raid. So my days of building bases for people to, uh, are pretty much over un unless they change something. I, I, I just, I, I don't know what I can do at this point. I mean, I got most of my older bases and socials, so people can enjoy those. But as for future bases, the game, the way they got the game designed now, I'm not going to be able to uh, continue. All right, well, hopefully I didn't rant too much, and I thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.